transferred to Grand Valley State University. My name is Transfat uh, Oyondi. I come from Kissing County. Uh, I did my undergraduate in computer science in Chukka University and I completed my studies in 2017. So later on, I decided to do my own thing in academic writing. So uh, during that time, I think it was really uh, amazing and you could make really good money. So I chose you know, to get employed and started working as an academic writer. Later on, I, when I was going on through my Facebook, I saw some advert on Kenya Elif program. That's when I decided, like, I, why can't I invest in this? Then I decided to go further and then contacted Bob. I actually called him directly to America and then asked him about the program. So he explained a little bit more about the program. And he, I didn't even stay to think about it twice. So I told him, like, in the next two weeks, I'll uh, make my payment. So I did my pay first payment. Then I stayed uh, from 2020. I came here 2021, December. I could have come earlier, but I wanted to stay a little bit in Kenya with my family. And then once I came here, I came at the time when it was so, so cold. It was really seriously cold here in Michigan. But again, we have adopted to the environment. Uh, Right now, I'm in my third semester, uh, of which now I'm remaining with only like one course, and then I'll be done with my master's in data science and analytics. Uh, apart from that, I'm a lead software engineer in the Kenya LF program. So all the systems, all the sites you're using right now, uh, I built all those systems with the help of my juniors uh, back in Kenya. So. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Even right now, I'm also working as a graduate assistant in uh, uh, State Grand Valley State University in the Department of Statistics. I think the cold, uh, it's not like in Kenya. People do complain during the month of July, like it's so cold, but it's not really cold. It's warm, in fact. It's seriously cold because you can tremble. Right now, it's just uh, not like uh, the weather might be good, but right now, it's totally worse. So I'm just shaking here, but again, we adopted to the environment later on. And uh, uh, since uh, here in America, because people can't move around like walking, we decided to get a car I with my friends. So each one of us has a car at least to move around. I have a half graduate assistantship right now. And I work, one of, uh, I work with one of uh, the lectures in uh, the statistics department uh, where I build uh, 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 R-Shiny applications uh, for students to use in class and for the professors to teach. And I really regret we benefited from that one in terms of uh, because my tuition fee is reduced by half, so I just need to pay half of the amount I'm supposed to pay for the tuition fee. And also, I think I'm paid monthly, so at least, in fact, bi-weekly. So at least I get something out of, uh, apart from getting the tuition waiver, I'm also paid to make some money out of that one. Yeah, and it's really a nice experience because you get uh, first hand information from the professor. He gives you a lot of advice on how to can, you can improve uh, in your skills generally. By the time you're done with your graduate assistantship, you're not only just like helping all, like your tuition fee was reduced, but you have an experience and knowledge more in the field where you are helping. Yeah, of course, I get a stipend uh, bi weekly. So uh, we are paid each. Every two weeks, at least, I get a payment of the, out of that. Um, no, right now, I'm focused more into building my skills because I, I got, like, only one semester to be done. But I'm also working with the Kenya Airlift program to build their system, so they pay me. So that one supplements with what I do also as a graduate assistantship. So I don't want to get more other jobs in school. I think I, I got my car last winter. It was in April. So since then, I've been driving in America, moving around, yeah. Buying a car in America is not a big deal, unfortunately. <laughs> it's not like in Kenya. I bought my car like I went to get to Mutumbas and get my car back. So I just went, called someone who was selling the car. I gave him money and then he gave me the car. I drove back home. So uh, actually, it's not really expensive. You can get a good car uh, at around $5,000, I could say. But you can get a, as low as even... Uh, <laughs> two thousand dollars still you might get someone who might be like he or she might have bought a new car and 
kind of wants to put this one away. So what they do is uh, they just sell cheaply. You can get one sale two thousand dollars. You are watching Success with Bob Moiti Show, presented to you by Upstate America. Upstate America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.upstakeamerica.com. Upstake America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential. Uh, data science uh, is a good cause. It's really a good cause and it's in very high demand. But hey man, we have a lot of work. We do a lot of work. In terms of assignments, we got assignments every, every day. So in this case, uh, and... Uh, most of the courses uh, are technical, statistics, and uh, computer programming. But uh, regardless of your experience, uh, professors are really good. They're giving you time to learn. Uh, so most of them, they are they're feeding you a lot of information, and they're giving you assignments each week for you for them to review like your progress in terms of studying and uh, getting that skill. So, uh, but uh, the data science has a lot of work to do. You don't have time like to relax oh i could say uh the kenya early programmer actually made one of my dreams come true i could say because I, i'm yet to achieve more but it gave me a very big opportunity for me to be in america right now and uh, one of the things i believe is uh the greatest obstacle to uh, to success is lack of self-belief i believed in myself when i started uh, actually, even studying for the team yourself and then pass it and then come to America now I'm pursuing my master's. And uh, I could really encourage everyone out there, uh, regardless of your background, uh, you know, sometimes our destiny is we don't know until we get something that can change your life and then automatically you realize this is where your destiny is. So I couldn't believe that I could be in America right now doing what I'm doing and uh, working with different people from different backgrounds who are giving me more knowledge and at least experience to improve generally in the data science field and I'm so much exposed more than when I was in Kenya. I actually won uh, like in a closed room I could say because uh, we didn't really learn a lot here. You are exposed to different uh everything all the resources you could be able to get and uh, succeed so uh take the chance do not your state and uh, there's no time for you to like uh, withdraw because you've waited for a year and you have not yet come to america time is coming for you you can come to america uh, so so long as you're patient no big deal because this is not a scam this is the kenya early program yeah i'm a testimony of that I could say the American education system is totally different from the Kenyan one because uh, in the Kenyan system, uh, they focus more into like teaching you, but they don't really monitor the progress of your skill. So here in America, they are really, even if you're getting homeworks each and every week, those are used to assess us in terms of the skill and the knowledge we do have. So. Uh, I could say, like in here in Grand Valley State University, they really focus on you getting the skill, and the professors are really nice and they are so, uh, they encourage us to ask questions we need. They can even set up meetings for you to discuss where any concept you're not really getting well, because uh, they need you to have that skill, and then at least you can uh, raise the Grand Valley State University flag high having that knowledge and getting hired in big companies. I think I'm in the right path. I think the Kenya Airlift came in the right time when I was like uh, figuring out how to transition to something else. And uh, being, uh, having a background in the tech uh, space, for, uh, having an undergrad in computer science, and coming all the way here to specialize in the data science field has really helped me. And I'm seeing myself achieving what I really wanted from when I was really young. I think I've really motivated a lot of people because nobody believed like a, pa a boy like me coming from a poor background could be able like to make it this far. But I, I have encouraged a lot of people in the community and then in, uh, in uh, my community, especially from where I come from. And they, most of the people see me as a mentor or a role model because uh, 
uh, freely enter progress and uh, mass schools in some sort of education. Right now, I'm in America, regardless of where I come from. And I was supported by taking an airlift program, and now here I am achieving my dream. And uh, I hope I'll succeed here in America. So I come from Kisi County, Nyariva Masaba constituency. Uh, specifically Masimba Hotel, Abuka to be specific. It's really a very remote area, but uh, yeah. You have been watching Success with Bomwiti Show, brought to you by Upstech America. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in USA through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to Bob Mwiti channel on YouTube and also follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.